Hello. Um, I I have created a I have created a roller coaster, and and shall be demonstrating to you, to, to it to you. And oh, and we and here we go. Oops, it got stuck. But that was actually the first time that mistake ever happened, that accident ever happened. The most common mistake. Two ways I can fix that. One, if I make it roll back here and dra drag the marble out, or I, t I tilt the beginning of the coat, I bring up the beginning of the coaster and and roll it back. Now, well, let let's see how it goes with two marbles. And and you and if you've noticed all these yellow all these yellow squares of paper, um those those show the meanings of of forces and other force related I terms and, and their meanings that that make this roller coaster possible. As you can see on on this on this big drop there are four there are, there are four of the sh squares. Oh right here it is the accelerating force. And the accelerating force Basically, is saying that it um is the force that is a force that generally starts a roller coaster and brings its velocity up, and velocity is basically speed. And also, gravitational force. Gravitational force is the accelerating force on this coaster because it's a a one-way gra gravity drop coaster, and so which means that um, it it's a free fall um, from the from the start to it it starts with a free fall, which is right here. Um, which means that an object is dropping with only the gra only gravitational force acting upon it. And gravitational force, um, it pulls pulls items to the earth. Um, and um, you know how sometimes on a roller coaster you feel like you're floating in your seat. That is called airtime. And there are, and there's another possibility of airtime. Airtime can also in fact, be a be when the when um, when a when a free fall happens. Well, enough with this drop. Um, this this sheet you can't see back here very well. Um, it it's about G force. Um, it's a combination of forces acting together to and it multiplies or divide, divides how you feel um, as according to how how heavy or light you feel um, there are t two kinds of measures in g force negative g's and positive g's positive g's are how many times um, you feel that your body weight is multiplied while negative G's feels it means how many um, how how little you feel. So the greater the negative G's, the lighter you feel. The greater the positive G's, the heavier you feel. And and as I and that accident where I have to tip it or drag it out, um, that is because there's a t too much buildup of potential energy. Potential energy on this 
car card except for the part I'm covering up because it'll tie into another part later. Me basically says um an energy that is stored and um and about and it something about to fall, in this case the marble, um it ha has that potential energy. Um and here gra gravitational force and and centripetal force work together. Centripetal force is that is that feeling you get when you're flung to the side of the track when during a turn. Oh, and or it can be and the energy caused from those kinds of turns is called rotational energy. Rotational energy is is from rotational movement. It's basically energy from rotational movement, it's, and the uh, and um it measures that the faster it turns, the more rotational energy it has. There's this wicked drop here, um, uh, and and here this card ties in with that uncovered part, the covered part of the potential energy slip. Kinetic energy, I feel it, I think is the peak here. Kinetic energy is energy from movement. And potential energy becomes kinetic energy as, as gravitational force pulls on the object and brings it down the track. And, and that brings us to momentum. Momentum is, um, most people say that it's another measure of speed, but in fact, it's, it's its speed or velocity times its mass. And, and this, and this wicked cork corkscrew, and finally, these two, two slips. Oh, this this one is about inertia. Inertia is isn't a force, but it it's what but is important of how things move. And, oh, the inertia um is ma the main subject of Newton's second law of motion, which um. Which means that, well, or first, I don't know which, for sure. Well, I forgot. And, and anyway, this tape, it, it shows how the path of how the marble will move. And, well, but not just that, but I also played it there to increase friction. Friction is what stops my coaster at the end. And the friction here, the main friction is between, is the tape. Now most people think it's not a force, but it actually is. And if you want to see, oh, and if you want to see it run again, here it is. I'm going to do it doubles this time. Oops.